Have you ever felt like confidence is just beyond your reach? Like you're standing there holding the match, ready to ignite a fire that you know should be there, but the spark just won't catch? Maybe you've stood on the edge of an opportunity, heart pounding, palms sweating, and in that single moment of hesitation, you lost it. You backed away, doubted yourself, and that chance slipped through your fingers. And you told yourself it's okay, that maybe you weren't ready. But deep down, you know it's not about readiness, it's about confidence. Now, let's be real here. Confidence is like this elusive flame for so many people. We see others people who seem to just walk through life with this unstoppable belief in themselves. They have this energy, this certainty, and you wonder, why don't I feel that way? What's wrong with me? And that question, that doubt, it eats away at you. You see someone else in a room, they're comfortable, they're thriving, and they've got that smile that just tells you, I belong here. But when you look at yourself, maybe you don't see that. And so you start telling yourself stories, stories that maybe you're not as worthy, maybe you're not good enough. And every single time you back away, it's like you're letting that story become your reality. But here's the truth. Nobody talks about enough confidence is not something you're born with. It's something you build. And if you feel like that fire is barely flickering right now, or maybe it's not even there at all, I'm here to tell you you can build it. And you can make it so strong that it'll never flicker again. Let me share a little story with you. Because I didn't always feel confident. In fact, there was a time in my life when confidence felt like the last thing I'd ever have. I was young, full of self-doubt, constantly afraid of what other people would think. I'd walk into rooms and feel like I didn't belong. I'd sit in meetings and second-guess every idea before it ever left my lips. I'd replay conversations in my mind, thinking of all the ways I could have sounded smarter or braver or just more. There was one moment in particular that changed everything for me. I was asked to give a presentation in front of a large crowd, something I was absolutely terrified of. I could feel my hands shake and my heart was pounding so loud I thought everyone could hear it. I almost didn't go up. I almost let that moment slip by. But something inside me whispered, what if? What if you could do this and right then I realized I had a choice? I could choose to stay in that comfort zone where I was safe but stagnant or I could take one step forward and light that match. So I did it. My voice trembled, my knees wobbled, but I pushed through. And when I finished, I felt something shift. Because I had survived it, and even more, I had done it on my terms. And that's where confidence is born. Not in the perfect moments, not when everything goes right, but in the mess, in the sweat, and in the uncertainty. That's when you get to choose who you're going to be. And that's when I started building real, unbreakable confidence. Now, here's why I'm sharing this with you today. Because I've walked that path of doubt, of second guessing, and of shrinking back. And I know what it's like to wish for confidence, to think that maybe it's just meant for other people, the naturals, but I'm here to tell you that confidence, real, unstoppable confidence can be yours. This video isn't just about pumping you up or giving you a temporary high. It's about giving you the tools, the insights, and the mindset to transform yourself from within. We're not looking for a quick fix, we're building something unbreakable. Today, I'm going to guide you through the steps that can help you uncover that unshakable confidence. I'll give you strategies, real actions that you can start taking today to build that solid foundation within yourself. And by the end of this, I want you to feel like you're standing at the edge of that fire, not just with a match in your hand, but with a torch ready to ignite it. Confidence doesn't mean the fear goes away. It means you trust yourself enough to face it. So are you ready to start that journey? Are you ready to finally take that step toward being unstoppable? Because once you've got this foundation, there's no turning back. Let's dive in. Let's get one thing clear right from the start. Confidence isn't about being loud. It isn't about showing off. And it certainly isn't about being the center of attention all the time. Confidence is not arrogance. It's not a facade, a facade you put on just to make other people think you've got it all together. You see, true confidence comes from within. It's quiet, it's steady, and it's built on a foundation of trust in yourself. It's not about feeling superior to anyone else, but about feeling grounded in who you are. Confidence is a deep-seated belief that you have what it takes to face whatever life throws at you, not because you have all the answers, but because you trust yourself to find those answers when you need them. Now, some people think confidence means always having the answer, never making a mistake, and always looking perfect. But that couldn't be further from the truth. True confidence isn't the absence of doubt, it's the courage to keep moving forward, even with doubt. It's not about putting on a mask and pretending you've got it all figured out. Real confidence actually invites vulnerability. It allows you to say, I don't know, or I made a mistake without feeling like that somehow diminishes who you are. 
let's break down some key differences between confidence and arrogance because so often they get confused. Arrogance tries to shout over other people. Confidence listens and understands. Arrogance wants to be right at all costs. Confidence is open to learning. Arrogance needs the approval of others. Confidence rests in self-approval. When someone's arrogant, they're usually hiding behind a mask, covering up insecurity by making themselves appear larger, stronger, more powerful than they really feel inside. But real confidence, it doesn't need to make noise. It's quiet, grounded. It's built on self-respect, not self-importance. And there's a huge difference between those two things. Arrogance can be fragile. It's easily threatened, easily hurt when things don't go its way. But true confidence is resilient. It's like a strong tree that bends in the wind instead of breaking. True confidence isn't diminished by challenges or criticism that absorbs them, learns from them, and grows stronger. So why does this matter? Why is confidence such a game changer? Not just in your career, but in your relationships, your personal growth, even your happiness. Let's start with relationships. Confidence allows you to show up as your authentic self with others. It's the foundation that lets you connect deeply and genuinely with the people around you. When you're confident, you don't feel the need to impress or pretend. You're able to give of yourself openly without worrying about being judged or rejected. And in return, that draws people toward you because confidence is magnetic. People are naturally attracted to those who are comfortable with themselves. And think about your career. Confidence can mean the difference between stepping up to take on that big project and letting it pass you by. It's what gives you the courage to voice your ideas, to lead when no one else is willing to take the first step. In any profession, confidence lets you take risks, make decisions, and stand up for what you believe in. And over time, that's what leads to real success, not just in titles or salary, but in personal fulfillment, because you're creating a career you're truly proud of. And here's something important confidence fuels growth. You see, when you believe in yourself, you're more likely to take on challenges. You're more willing to push past your comfort zone, try new things, and go after goals that feel impossible. Confidence tells you that even if you fail, you'll find a way to get back up. And that mindset, having the courage to fall, to learn, and to keep going, that's where growth happens. Now let's talk about happiness. Studies have shown that people with higher levels of self-confidence generally feel happier and more satisfied in their lives. And here's why confidence gives you a sense of control. When you believe in yourself, you don't feel like a victim of circumstances. You feel like the driver of your own life. Confidence gives you the power to create change, to set boundaries, and to make choices that are aligned with what truly matters to you. It empowers you to design a life that feels meaningful and fulfilling. And isn't that what we're all really after? Now let's talk about happiness. Studies have shown that people with higher levels of self-confidence generally feel happier and more satisfied in their lives. And here's why confidence gives you a sense of control. When you believe in yourself, you don't feel like a victim of circumstances. You feel like the driver of your own life. Confidence gives you the power to create change, to set boundaries, and to make choices that are aligned with what truly matters to you. It empowers you to design a life that feels meaningful and fulfilling. And isn't that what we're all really after? So as we move forward today, remember this confidence isn't about perfection. It's not about never feeling fear or doubt. It's about having the courage to be real, to be authentic, and to keep showing up even when it's hard. That's true confidence. And the beauty of it is that it's something every one of us can build. It's not reserved for a select few. It's available to you, to me, to anyone who's willing to put in the work to uncover it. Today we're going to dive deep into the building blocks of confidence. And by the end of this, my goal is for you to feel like you have a solid foundation, a foundation that won't crumble at the first sign of doubt or criticism. Because once you have that foundation, you're unstoppable. Let's take this journey together. Now let's dig deeper into the psychology of confidence because confidence isn't just a personality trait, something you're born with or without. It's a product of your inner world, the beliefs, thoughts, and stories that play in your mind every day. It's the result of how your brain and body interact. And when you understand how confidence is wired into your psychology, you start to see that it's something you can actively create and shape. Let's start with belief systems. What we believe about ourselves, what we believe we're capable of these beliefs, create the foundation for either a strong or shaky sense of confidence. From the time we're young, we start forming beliefs based on our experiences, based on the things people tell us, and based on what society expects from us. For example, if you've ever been told you're not smart enough or you're not cut out for this, that narrative can take root. And over time, it grows into a limiting belief, a story that you begin to tell yourself. It's not something you consciously decide, it just becomes a lens through which you view yourself. These limiting beliefs are often silent but powerful. 
They act as a ceiling, capping our potential and holding us back from trying new things, from taking risks, from trusting ourselves. And the challenge with these beliefs is that they often go unnoticed. They become such a familiar part of our inner dialogue that we don't even question them. We assume they're just the truth. But here's the truth. You have the power to rewrite those beliefs. You don't have to be held hostage by the narratives that were planted in you years ago. You can choose to challenge those thoughts. So if a belief like I'm not good enough or I'll never succeed keeps popping up, recognize that thought for what it is a story. A story that you have the power to rewrite. So how do we change these limiting beliefs? One powerful technique is called belief replacement. Here's how it works. Whenever you catch yourself thinking a limiting thought, pause. Identify it. And then consciously replace it with a new empowering belief. For example, if your mind says, I can't do this, replace it with, I'm capable, and I can learn if it says I'll fail, replace it with, even if I fail, I'll grow. Every time you actively choose to replace a limiting belief with a new one, you're reshaping your inner narrative. You're training your mind to look for possibilities instead of barriers. And over time, these new beliefs take root, building a foundation of confidence that feels natural and authentic. Now let's talk about something fascinating, the mind-body connection. Did you know that your physical state, how you stand, how you breathe, how you move can directly impact your confidence? Imagine for a moment that you're standing in front of a group of people about to give a speech. Your body is hunched over, your shoulders are slouched, your gaze is down, and your breathing is shallow. In this physical state, your body is sending a message to your brain that says, I'm uncomfortable, I'm nervous, I'm unsure. But watch what happens when you change your posture. This is a power pose, shoulders back, chin up, standing tall. When you take this posture, you're sending a different message to your brain, I'm strong, I'm ready, I belong here. Studies show that standing in a power pose for just a couple of minutes can increase testosterone, which boosts feelings of confidence and lower cortisol, which reduces stress. So whenever you're facing a situation where confidence feels low, take a moment to check in with your body, adjust your posture, take deep, slow breaths, look up. These small shifts in physical states send powerful signals to your brain that reinforce confidence. Now let's address the elephant in the room, fear. Fear is one of the biggest inhibitors of confidence. It's that tightness in your chest, that voice in your head that says, what if I mess up? What if I'm not enough? What if they judge me? But here's a new way to think about fear. Fear isn't the enemy of confidence. In fact, fear can be an ally. Let me explain. Fear is a natural response designed to keep us safe. But sometimes our minds mistake any risk, any unfamiliar situation as a threat. And instead of feeling prepared to face it, we feel paralyzed. The trick is to reframe fear as a sign that you're stepping into something meaningful. When you feel that fear, recognize it for what it is, a sign that you're on the edge of growth. Instead of letting fear pull you back, let it remind you that this is an opportunity to strengthen your confidence. One effective technique to turn fear into fuel is to use fear setting, a concept popularized by entrepreneur Tim Ferriss. With fear setting, you write down the worst case scenario in detail and then map out the steps you would take if that scenario actually happened. This exercise often shows you that even in the worst case, you'll still be okay. And it reduces the fear to something manageable, something you can face instead of avoiding. The moment you realize that you can survive your worst fears, those fears lose their power. They become allies, challenges that you welcome instead of run from. And every time you step forward in the face of fear, you're adding bricks to the foundation of your confidence. Let's talk a little about the neuroscience behind confidence. When you take actions that reinforce your belief in yourself, your brain starts to rewire in ways that support more confident behavior. For instance, did you know that confidence actually boosts dopamine levels in the brain? Dopamine is known as the feel-good neurotransmitter and it plays a huge role in motivation and reward. When you make a choice that aligns with confidence, like speaking up in a meeting or taking on a challenge, dopamine levels increase, creating a positive feedback loop. This means that every time you make a decision that builds your confidence, you're literally training your brain to feel good about taking risks, about pushing yourself forward. And over time, this rewiring makes confidence more automatic. It's no longer something you have to force. It becomes a natural part of who you are. So in a way, confidence is self-reinforcing. The more you practice it, the more your brain supports it. The neurons that fire together wire together. And with every small step you take toward confidence, you're strengthening those pathways in your brain. It's not magic. It's science. And the best part, this means that confidence isn't a fixed trait. It's something that you can actively build bit by bit every day.
So as we move forward, keep this in mind, confidence isn't just about mindset or personality. It's a full body experience. It's your beliefs, your physical state, your relationship with fear, and even the way your brain processes risk and reward. And when you understand these elements, you unlock the secret to creating unstoppable confidence. Let's dive into one of the most transformative practices on your journey to unstoppable confidence, identifying and breaking limiting beliefs. Because here's the truth, confidence is often buried underneath layers of outdated beliefs that no longer serve you. Beliefs that were formed in moments of fear, rejection, or judgment. These are beliefs that hold you back, beliefs that make you question your worth, your ability, and even your dreams. But the good news, you can rewrite those beliefs. You have the power to break free from them and create a foundation of confidence that feels real and resilient. The first step is awareness. We can't change what we don't acknowledge. So I want you to take a moment to think about those inner voices, the ones that whisper doubts and insecurities, often at the most inconvenient times. Ask yourself, what are the beliefs I carry that are holding me back? Maybe they sound like I'm not smart enough or I don't deserve success or even I'm not good enough to be loved or respected. These beliefs often operate in the background, subtly shaping our actions, keeping us from taking risks or speaking up for ourselves. But when you bring these beliefs to the surface, when you name them, you take away their power. I encourage you to grab a pen and paper or even type them out on your phone. Write down every limiting belief that you can think of. Don't judge yourself for having them and don't try to rationalize them just yet. Just get them out of your mind and onto the page. This act alone can be incredibly freeing. So take a moment, breathe, and let it all out. Now, as you look at these beliefs on paper, ask yourself, how are these beliefs restricting me? How are they shaping my actions or holding me back? Are they stopping you from taking on new challenges, from meeting new people, from sharing your voice? Recognizing the impact of these beliefs is the first step toward breaking free from them. Awareness is the beginning of transformation. Now that you've identified these limiting beliefs, it's time to replace them with empowering ones. You might wonder, how do I do that? How do I go from believing I'm not good enough to believing I am more than enough? The answer lies in the practice of reframing. Reframing is about consciously choosing to see yourself in a new light. Every time a limiting belief surfaces, challenge it and replace it with an empowering belief. For example, if the belief is I'm not smart enough, reframe it as I have the power to learn and grow. If it's I don't deserve success, reframe it too. I am worthy of every success I work for. This isn't about ignoring reality or faking it till you make it. It's about actively choosing to see yourself as capable, as worthy, as someone who has everything it takes. Because the truth is, you do. So each time a limiting thought pops up, pause, acknowledge it, and consciously replace it with a belief that strengthens you instead of weakens you. One powerful tool for rewiring your beliefs is the use of positive affirmations. Affirmations are statements that affirm who you are and who you want to be. They might feel a little strange or even uncomfortable at first, but trust me, they work. They work because when you repeat affirmations, you're telling your subconscious mind to accept these new beliefs as truth. Try something like, I am capable of achieving my dreams or I am worthy of love and respect. Write these affirmations down. Put them where you'll see them every day on your mirror, in your wallet, on your phone's lock screen. Speak them out loud each morning. The more you repeat these affirmations, the more your mind will begin to accept them as truth. And over time, you'll start to believe in yourself in ways you may never have thought possible. Remember, affirmations aren't just words, they're commitments to yourself. Every time you say an affirmation, you're choosing confidence. You're choosing to let go of the old and step into the new. Now that you've identified limiting beliefs and replaced them with empowering ones, let's add one more powerful tool, visualization. Visualization is like giving your brain a roadmap to your future self, your confident self. Close your eyes for a moment and take a deep breath. I want you to picture yourself as the most confident version of you. What do you look like? How do you stand? How do you walk into a room? Imagine this version of you going about your day meeting new people, tackling challenges, speaking with confidence. Notice the details. See the way you carry yourself, the way others respond to your energy. Feel the emotions that come with this confidence, the sense of ease, the joy, the calm. You might feel a warmth in your chest or a lightness in your body. Really embody that feeling. Hold on to it for a moment. Visualization is powerful because your mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's vividly imagined. So when you consistently visualize yourself as a confident, capable person, your brain begins to accept this as reality. The more you do it, the more natural confidence will feel. If you do this every day, even for just a few minutes, you'll find that your behavior starts to align with your vision. You'll start to feel comfortable taking steps forward, speaking up, and showing up as that person you visualized. 
So here's your roadmap to confidence. Start by identifying the beliefs that are holding you back. Replace them with empowering ones through reframing and positive affirmations. And use visualization to see and feel yourself as the person you're meant to be. This journey takes time. But every step you take, every limiting belief you break, brings you closer to a confidence that is genuine, that is unshakable. Confidence isn't about being perfect or never feeling doubt. It's about knowing deep down that you're capable, that you're worthy, and that no belief has the power to hold you back unless you let it. So take these tools, practice them daily, and watch as you unlock a confidence that is unstoppable. Confidence doesn't just happen overnight. It's not a feeling that randomly comes and goes. It's an identity, a foundation you can build and strengthen every day. Real, unstoppable confidence stems from who you believe you are. Think about it. If you see yourself as a capable, resilient, confident person, your actions will start to align with that identity no matter what challenges you face. And this is where the real transformation begins. Here's the thing. Identity is one of the most powerful forces in human psychology. It's what drives you when times get tough. It's what keeps you going when doubts creep in. And if you can build an identity rooted in confidence, strength, and self-belief, you're going to find it much easier to maintain that confidence no matter what comes your way. Let's think about this for a second. When you identify as a confident person, when you truly believe that about yourself, your mind automatically begins to look for ways to reinforce that identity. Instead of letting doubts or insecurities take the wheel, your brain says, wait a minute, I'm a confident person. This is a challenge, but I can handle it. You start to naturally choose actions that align with this new empowered version of you. Building a confident identity is about changing the lens through which you see yourself. It's about waking up each day and choosing to see yourself as someone who is capable, who is resilient, and who has everything it takes to succeed. And when you start to embody that identity, confidence becomes second nature. One of the most effective ways to build a confident identity is to model the behavior of people who already embody that confidence. Think about someone in your life or even a public figure who radiates the kind of confidence you want to cultivate. Maybe it's someone who speaks up in meetings with. These or a mentor who faces challenges head on with courage and conviction. The key here is to study and adopt the habits, behaviors, and even the mindset of those who inspire you. By observing role models, you gain a blueprint of what confidence looks like in action. Maybe it's their posture, their tone of voice, their presence when they enter a room. Maybe it's how they handle criticism or setbacks with grace. By noticing these traits, you're actually training your brain to replicate similar patterns in your own life. And this doesn't have to be limited to people you know personally. Reading biographies, watching interviews, or even listening to motivational talks can help you understand the thought processes and habits that make these people confident. This isn't about copying someone else, it's about learning and integrating their best qualities in a way that feels authentic to you. Mentors can also play a huge role. A mentor who believes in you can help you see yourself as capable and deserving of confidence. They offer support, challenge you to grow, and help you identify blind spots. So if you can, seek out a mentor who inspires you, a friend, a teacher, a coach, someone who can help you step into your confident identity. Now let's talk about self-awareness. Building a confident identity requires you to have a clear understanding of who you are, not just the strengths you bring to the table, but also the areas where you can grow. Confidence isn't about pretending to be perfect or ignoring your weaknesses. It's about knowing yourself fully and being okay with it. Self-awareness is the key to developing that inner strength. Self-aware people have a realistic understanding of their strengths and they use those strengths to fuel their confidence. Take a moment and ask yourself, what am I really good at? Is it problem solving? Empathy? Creativity? Communication? When you know your strengths, you can lean into them. You can recognize this is what I bring to the table and I'm proud of it. But it doesn't stop there. Self-awareness also means acknowledging your weaknesses without judgment. When you accept that there are areas where you can improve, you give yourself permission to grow. You start to see weaknesses not as flaws, but as opportunities to become better, stronger, and more capable. You take charge of your growth, and that in itself is an act of confidence. The goal here is to look at yourself honestly and still choose to believe in your worth. And remember, confidence isn't about having all the answers. It's about trusting that you can figure things out even when you don't. So the next time you face a challenge or make a mistake, remind yourself that growth is part of the process. You're building confidence, not by avoiding mistakes, but by learning from them and moving forward. So let's recap. To build a confident identity, start by embracing the power of identity itself. See yourself as a confident person and make choices that align with that vision. Seek out role models who inspire you and learn from their actions and mindset, allowing their confidence to guide you. And most importantly, develop self-awareness. 
Embrace your strengths with pride and face your weaknesses with a willingness to grow. When you start to align your actions with this confident identity, every decision, every challenge, every interaction becomes an opportunity to reinforce that confidence. And over time, you'll find that confidence isn't something you have to think about. It becomes part of who you are. This is the beauty of building confidence as an identity. You're not just becoming a more confident person. You're stepping into the truest, most empowered version of yourself. And remember, confidence is a journey. Keep growing, keep learning, and keep believing in your own potential. Because the world needs that confident, authentic version of you. Let's talk about one of the most effective, grounded ways to build confidence, action-based confidence. You see, confidence isn't a switch that you just flip on. It's a skill you develop. And one of the best ways to do that is by building small. Consistent wins. These little victories might seem simple, but they add up creating a foundation of success that reinforces confidence every single day. When it comes to building confidence, there's something incredibly powerful about setting small, achievable goals. These aren't big, life-changing objectives. They're more like daily victories that help you feel successful and capable. Why? Because every time you complete one of these small goals, you're telling yourself, I did that. I'm capable of following through, and that message, no matter how small it seems, repeats in your mind day after day, strengthening your confidence from the ground up. Think of it this way. If you set a goal to go to the gym every day, and that seems overwhelming, break it down. Start with, I'm going to walk around the block every morning for a week, or if public speaking feels impossible, set a goal to speak up once in a small meeting or share a thought with a friend. These may seem tiny, but they're actually powerful, realistic goals that you can achieve. And every time you complete one, you're building a pattern of success, which strengthens that inner belief that says, I can do this. Start by picking one area of your life where you want to feel more confident. Maybe it's at work in social situations or with personal projects. Choose a small action, a manageable one, write it down, commit to it, and follow through. Because here's the secret. When you see yourself achieving these small goals, you'll naturally start to set bigger goals, and you'll approach them with more confidence, simply because you've proven to yourself that you can take action and succeed. Now let's talk about something most people overlook celebrating those wins. We live in a world that often pushes us to keep moving, to never stop, to keep grinding. And while that drive is valuable, it's also essential to take a moment and actually recognize your progress. When you celebrate even the smallest wins, you're sending a powerful message to yourself that what you're doing matters. You're acknowledging your effort and you're reinforcing that confidence. Think about the last time you achieved something, even if it was something small like finishing a task on time, cooking a meal from scratch, or going for a jog after a long day. How did it feel? Did you give yourself credit for it or did you immediately move on to the next thing? Celebrating these small achievements isn't about bragging or getting lazy. It's about feeding your confidence. It's about reinforcing that pattern of success, giving yourself the permission to feel proud of what you've done. When you recognize your own progress, it motivates you to keep going, to set the next small goal and the next. So make it a habit every time you achieve one of those small goals. Take a moment to acknowledge it. Write it down. Give yourself a small reward or even just take a minute to say to yourself, I did that. I'm proud of myself. These little celebrations are powerful reminders that you're growing, that you're capable, and that you're on the path to unstoppable confidence. One of the most powerful ways to build action-based confidence is through something called exposure therapy. Now, this might sound a bit intense, but it's actually quite simple. Exposure therapy is all about gradually facing the situations that make you feel nervous or uncertain, slowly and on your terms. Think of it as training your mind and body to handle situations that usually trigger self-doubt, building resilience one step at a time. Here's how it works. Start by identifying something that brings up self-doubt or fear. Maybe it's speaking in front of others, or perhaps it's trying a new skill that you're worried you might fail at. Rather than jumping in headfirst, start small. Pick a version of that situation that feels just a little bit challenging but manageable. For example, if public speaking is your fear, don't begin with a huge presentation. Instead, practice speaking up in small groups like in team meetings or even with friends. As you gradually expose yourself to these situations, your mind begins to learn that you can handle them. You're training your brain to associate these situations not with fear or self-doubt, but with success and capability. Over time, you'll find that these situations don't trigger the same level of anxiety or doubt. They become familiar, and you'll start to face them with more ease and confidence. And remember, this isn't about perfection or instant results. It's about taking small, consistent steps to strengthen your confidence muscle.
Every time you step into a situation that once intimidated you and you come out okay, you're reinforcing the belief that you are resilient, capable, and able to face challenges head on. So to build action-based confidence, start with small, achievable goals. Break them down, take that first step and complete it. Then take a moment to celebrate those wins. Let yourself feel the satisfaction, the pride of every small victory. Finally, use exposure therapy to slowly face the situations that challenge you. By facing them gradually, you're training your brain to bring to see these situations as opportunities to grow rather than obstacles to fear. With each small goal, each celebration, and each moment of courage, you're building a powerful pattern. A pattern that says, I can do this. I am confident. And remember, confidence isn't built on massive leaps. It's built step by step, win by win. Every action, every choice is reinforcing the belief in yourself that you are unstoppable. When we talk about confidence, there's an element that often goes overlooked, but it's absolutely essential for long-term, unshakable confidence skill building. You see, true confidence doesn't come from hype or temporary boosts. It comes from knowing deep down that you're capable. And one of the best ways to achieve that level of certainty is by developing skills that create a solid foundation of self-belief. The more skilled you are in an area that matters to you, the more naturally confident you'll feel. Think about it when you're competent in something, you don't need to act confident. You simply are because you know you're capable. This isn't about pretending or putting on a show. It's about the genuine, quiet confidence that comes from mastery. Skill building is one of the most powerful tools for cultivating true, lasting confidence. Why? Because skills are something you earn through practice, time, and dedication. They're tangible proof that you're growing, evolving, and capable of overcoming challenges. When you master a skill, whether it's in your career, a hobby, or even in personal relationships, you gain confidence that doesn't waver. It's not dependent on external validation. It comes from within, rooted in what you know you're capable of. Let's break this down. Imagine you're learning to play an instrument like the guitar. At first, you might feel frustrated, maybe even embarrassed by how slow your progress is. But if you keep at it, practicing a little each day, you'll eventually reach a point where playing that instrument feels almost effortless. That sense of mastery, that's what breeds true confidence. And the beautiful thing is the same principle applies to any skill, whether it's public speaking, coding, leadership, or athletic training. Now take a moment to think about an area of your life where you could benefit from a little more confidence. It could be your job, your social skills, your physical fitness, or a creative endeavor. Think about what skills in that area would make you feel more capable, more grounded, and more self-assured. Then make a plan to invest time in developing those skills. Set a specific time each week to work on it and watch as your confidence naturally grows as your competency increases. One of the most valuable mindsets you can develop in life, especially when it comes to building confidence, is a growth mindset. Now, you've probably heard of this concept before the belief that skills, intelligence, and abilities can be developed through effort, learning, and resilience. A growth mindset is all about seeing challenges as opportunities to learn rather than as obstacles or threats. It's a mindset that's powerful because it removes the fear of failure and replaces it with curiosity and a sense of possibility. Let's look at an example. Say you're working on a new skill at work, like mastering a new software program. At first, it feels uncomfortable and overwhelming. You're bound to make mistakes, maybe even feel like giving up. But with a growth mindset, you see these early missteps not as failures, but as part of the learning process. You start to understand that with each mistake, you're gaining valuable experience. You're learning, adapting, and growing more competent. And that competence builds confidence. And here's a key thing to remember people who are highly confident aren't confident because they know everything. They're confident because they believe they can figure things out. They're adaptable and they're willing to learn. By adopting a growth mindset, you're telling yourself that you don't need to have all the answers right now. You just need to be willing to find them. This approach to life, one of learning and growing, is a cornerstone of long-term confidence. Building deep competency in one area is like creating an anchor of confidence. When you know that you're knowledgeable or skilled in a specific field, you can carry that confidence into other parts of your life. It's a powerful feeling. Knowing you have an area where you're not only competent but proficient. It gives you the assurance that you can take on new challenges, that you have what it takes. This doesn't mean you have to be an expert in everything. In fact, quite the opposite. Often confidence is about diving deep rather than spreading yourself thin. Think about an area you're passionate about or one that aligns with your long-term goals. What would it look like to become truly competent, maybe even a go-to person in that field? Here's the secret mastery doesn't require genius or natural talent. It requires consistency, practice, and an ongoing commitment to learning. Confidence comes from knowing that you're good at something because you've invested time and effort into it. 
And even more than that, the journey of mastery itself teaches you resilience, discipline, and adaptability. All of these qualities are the backbone of long-term confidence. So start small. Focus on mastering one skill that's meaningful to you. Whether it's writing, negotiation, programming, fitness training, or another pursuit, commit to it fully. With each new layer of knowledge and skill, your confidence will grow. You'll find that this confidence isn't limited to that one skill it radiates outward into everything else you do. Suddenly, you're not just someone who's good at this one thing, you're someone who believes in their ability to learn, grow, and adapt. That's the true power of competency. So if you want to build unshakable long-term confidence, it's about committing to skill development, adopting a growth mindset, and investing in areas where you can build deep competency. When you know that you have skills that you're constantly learning, and that you have a level of expertise in something meaningful, you don't need to rely on fleeting boosts of confidence. You have a foundation that's rooted in the reality of what you're capable of. Take the time to build skills that matter. Be willing to make mistakes and learn from them. Commit to one or two areas of deep focus. This isn't an overnight transformation, it's a journey. But as you grow, as you build mastery, you'll find that your confidence grows naturally without needing to force it. You'll feel capable, resilient, and ready to face whatever challenges come your way. In the end, confidence is not about being perfect. It's about believing in your capacity to grow, to adapt, and to overcome. So start today. Choose one skill, commit to one area, and make a promise to yourself to keep growing. The confidence you build from this will be yours for a lifetime. When we think about confidence, it's easy to focus on the words we say or the things we achieve. But here's the secret confidence is just as much about how you carry yourself. Body language speaks volumes, often more powerfully than words. In fact, our posture, gestures, tone. And eye contact can communicate a sense of confidence that goes beyond what we say. Let's dive into some of the powerful ways your body language can either elevate or hinder your confidence. Remember this, your body and mind are closely connected. When you change the way you hold yourself, you're not just changing how others perceive you, you're changing how you perceive yourself. Let's explore how you can use body language to your advantage in Project Unshakable Confidence. It all starts with posture. Standing tall with your shoulders back and your spine straight sends a message to your brain that you're ready, that you're strong, and that you're capable. This is sometimes called power posing, and research has shown that adopting a powerful stance for even just a few minutes can boost feelings of confidence. Think of it like this when you slump your shoulders or hunch forward. You're making yourself smaller. This closed posture sends a signal to your brain that you're not confident, that you're trying to hide. In contrast, an open posture, standing tall, shoulders back, chest open projects a sense of security and capability. It says, I belong here and I'm not afraid to take up space and this isn't just about impressing others. When you adopt open, confident body language, your mind begins to align with your body. You start to feel more confident, more in control, simply because you're taking a confident stance. In situations where you need an extra boost, try taking a power pose for a couple of minutes. Place your hands on your hips, stand tall and breathe deeply. This simple shift in body language can prime your brain to feel more assertive and confident. Remember, how you stand affects how you feel. Gestures are also key to confident body language. Think of gestures as an extension of your thoughts. They add depth, clarity, and energy to your words. When used intentionally, gestures can reinforce your message, making it more powerful and compelling. For instance, purposeful, controlled gestures convey confidence and self-assuredness. They show that you're in control of your message, that you're comfortable with what you're saying. In contrast, fidgeting or excessive movement can give off a sense of nervousness or insecurity. To practice this, start by keeping your gestures natural but deliberate. Use your hands to emphasize important points. Avoid crossing your arms or hiding your hands in your pockets as these are closed body language cues that can make you appear less approachable or even defensive. Remember, gestures should flow naturally. They shouldn't feel forced or exaggerated. Try to align them with the natural rhythm of your speech, letting your hands move in sync with your words. This not only makes you appear more confident, but it also makes you more engaging and relatable. Now let's talk about tone. Your voice can be one of the most powerful tools for expressing confidence. A grounded, steady tone instantly makes you appear more confident, while a shaky or overly high-pitched voice can reveal nervousness. To develop a more confident tone, focus on speaking from your diaphragm rather than your throat. This will give your voice a fuller, more resonant quality, making it sound stronger and more grounded. Practice taking deep breaths before you speak, filling your lungs fully so that your voice has power and clarity. Remember, a confident voice doesn't need to be loud, but it should be clear and intentional. Also, avoid speaking too quickly. When we're nervous, we tend to rush our words, but a calm, measured pace shows that you're comfortable and in control. 
Pausing between sentences can add impact and gives your audience a moment to absorb your words. So slow down, breathe, and let each word carry weight. People are more likely to listen and respond positively to a voice that's calm, steady, and assured. Finally, let's talk about eye contact. They say the eyes are the window to the soul. And that's never truer than when it comes to confidence. When you make eye contact, you show others that you're present, engaged, and unafraid. You're saying, I see you, and I want you to see me. Consistent eye contact builds connection and trust. It's a signal of openness, strength, and honesty. Avoiding eye contact, on the other hand, can make you seem unsure or uncomfortable. It's natural to feel a bit of fear when holding someone's gaze, especially in moments when we're feeling vulnerable. But with practice, maintaining eye contact can become one of your strongest confidence tools. Try this when you're speaking to someone. Make an effort to hold their gaze for a few seconds at a time, especially when you're making key points. And when listening, show that you're fully present by looking directly at them. A warm, focused gaze can make others feel valued and respected, which in turn makes you appear more confident and trustworthy. So let's recap. Confidence isn't just a mindset, it's something you communicate through every part of your body. By standing tall, using deliberate gestures, speaking in a steady tone, and holding eye contact, you send a powerful message to both yourself and others. You're saying, I believe in myself, and I'm ready to take on any challenge. Remember, these small adjustments in posture, gestures, tone, and eye contact may seem subtle, but they have a profound impact on how you feel and how others perceive you. Practice them daily, even when you're alone, until they become second nature. This is how you can build a presence that radiates confidence wherever you go. Confidence is in your control. You have the tools, you just need to use them. Stand tall, speak with purpose, look people in the eye, and watch as you become the confident person you were always meant to be. Let's get one thing clear. True confidence isn't just about looking self-assured or feeling good when things are easy. Real, unstoppable confidence is forged in the fires of uncertainty. It's built every time you take a leap into the unknown. Every time you step beyond your comfort zone and take risks. Taking risks is a powerful catalyst for confidence, but it requires us to confront something most people fear failure. But what if I told you that failure is not the enemy of confidence, but its greatest ally? Today, let's explore how embracing failure, taking courageous action, and seeing each risk as an opportunity to grow can skyrocket your confidence to levels you never thought possible. When most people think about failure, they imagine it as this dreadful experience, a stain on their record, or something to be avoided at all costs. But here's the thing, failure is actually one of the most valuable experiences you can have in life. Every failure, every mistake you make is a moment of feedback. It's life's way of showing you what didn't work and how you can adjust to make it better. Think about it. How do you learn to walk as a toddler? You try, you stumble, you fall. But you don't give up. You keep getting up, trying again and again, until one day you're not just walking, you're running. If we viewed failure through the eyes of a child as something to learn from instead of something to fear, our confidence would soar. Look at the journeys of some of the most successful people in history, Steve Jobs, Oprah Winfrey, Michael Jordan. Each of them faced monumental failures at some point. Jobs was fired from his own company. Oprah was told she didn't have the face for television. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. But instead of letting these failures define them, they let failure guide them. They used it as feedback, a way to refine their skills, adapt their approaches, and come back stronger. They understood that failure isn't final, it's a stepping stone to success. And each time you're willing to take that risk, even if it ends in failure, you're telling yourself, I'm resilient. I'm capable of handling whatever comes my way. That's how confidence is built. Failure isn't the end, it's the beginning of real growth. Now, let's talk about courage, because confidence without courage is like a car without fuel. You might look good sitting still, but you're not going anywhere. Courage is what gets you moving. It's what allows you to take action despite the fear, despite the unknown. And every time you choose courage, you're choosing confidence. One of the biggest misconceptions about confidence is that you have to feel ready before you act. But here's the truth, confidence is created through action. By stepping into situations that make you uncomfortable, that challenge you to stretch. You're pushing the boundaries of what you think you're capable of. And each time you do, your belief in yourself grows. Take Thomas Edison, for example. He famously failed over a thousand times before inventing the light bulb. Imagine that hundreds upon hundreds of failed attempts when asked about his so-called failures, Edison didn't see them as mistakes, he saw them as part of the journey. Each one brought him closer to his goal. Each attempt built resilience, and with it, his confidence to keep going. 
Courage wasn't the absence of fear for Edison. It was the decision to persist in the face of it. And that's a choice you get to make every day. Are you willing to take the risk, even if you're uncertain of the outcome? Because confidence is knowing that no matter what happens, you'll figure it out. You'll adapt, learn, and come back stronger. Every risk you take becomes a brick in the foundation of your confidence because courage and confidence are two sides of the same coin. So what courageous actions can you take in your life right now? Maybe it's having a tough conversation, asking for that promotion, starting a new project, or even facing a long-held fear. Start with something small if you need to, but take that step. Each act of courage, no matter how small, fuels the fire of confidence. And soon you'll see that the things you once thought impossible are now within reach. Now let's address the elephant in the room, fear. Fear is often seen as the enemy of confidence, but what if I told you that fear can actually be a powerful ally? When you feel fear, it's a signal that something important is at stake. It means you care, that you're stepping into territory where growth can happen. Rather than running from fear, lean into it, use it as fuel. Tell yourself, this fear means I'm on the edge of something new. This is where I'm about to expand each time you face fear and act anyway. You're reprogramming your mind to see fear not as a stop sign, but as a stop sign, but as a challenge. You're building a kind of resilience that can't be shaken, no matter how intense the situation. Consider Eleanor Roosevelt's famous advice. Do one thing every day that scares you by continually exposing yourself to discomfort, by practicing courage in the face of fear, you're strengthening that confidence muscle. You're training yourself to handle whatever life throws your way. The truth is, fear and confidence can coexist. You don't need to eliminate fear to feel confident, you just need to act despite it. This is where real lasting confidence is built not in the absence of fear, but in the choice to move forward regardless. Fear might make your heart race, but it's also a sign that you're alive, growing, expanding into new territory. So here's the big takeaway. If you want to build unstoppable confidence, you have to be willing to take risks. Embrace failure as feedback, take courageous action, and see fear not as a barrier, but as an invitation to grow. Every time you take a risk, you're rewriting the story you tell yourself. You're proving through action that you're capable, resilient, and unbreakable. So ask yourself right now, what's one risk, one courageous action you can take today to move closer to the life you want? Don't wait to feel ready. Act, learn, adapt, and let each experience fuel your confidence. Because confidence isn't something you're given, it's something you build, one courageous choice at a time. Remember, the only real failure is never trying. Go out there, take the risks, and let every step fuel the fire of confidence within you. As we continue our journey towards unshakable confidence, let's take a moment to explore two powerful practices that can elevate your confidence to new heights, gratitude, and self-compassion. You might be thinking, what do these have to do with confidence? But trust me, these are not just nice ideas. They are foundational pillars for building a strong sense of self-worth and resilience. Let's start with gratitude. Imagine waking up each day and consciously acknowledging the good in your life. What if you took just a few minutes every morning to reflect on what you're thankful for? Studies have shown that a daily gratitude practice can profoundly shift your mindset, increasing your overall happiness and resilience. Gratitude isn't just about saying thank you, it's about recognizing the positive attributes within yourself and appreciating the journey you're on. When you take the time to appreciate your progress, no matter how small, you send a powerful message to yourself that you are worthy, that you are making strides, and that you have the strength to keep going. It becomes a cycle when you acknowledge your strengths and victories. You naturally bolster your confidence. So I encourage you to establish a daily gratitude practice. It can be as simple as keeping a gratitude journal. Each morning or evening, write down three things you're grateful for. They can be big or small. Maybe you're thankful for a friend who supports you, for the sunny weather, or even for a small victory you achieved that day. This simple act of reflection will help you focus on the positives in your life and reinforce your sense of self-worth. Moreover, gratitude helps to combat the negativity bias we often experience, where our minds tend to focus on what's wrong rather than what's going right. By consciously directing your thoughts toward gratitude, you're rewiring your brain to see the glass as half full instead of half empty. And as you cultivate this mindset, you'll notice that your confidence grows alongside it. Now, let's talk about self-compassion. This concept is often misunderstood. Many people equate it with weakness or complacency. But self-compassion is about recognizing that everyone struggles. And it's okay to stumble. It's about treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer to a close friend or loved one. When setbacks occur, and they will, because that's part of being human, self-compassion allows you to approach these moments with grace instead of harsh judgment. Instead of spiraling into negative self-talk, 
Try asking yourself, what would I tell a friend who's going through this more often than not? You would encourage them to be gentle with themselves, to recognize their efforts, and to learn from the experience rather than berate themselves for it. Practicing self-compassion not only fosters resilience, but also builds your confidence. When you're kind to yourself during tough times, you create a safe space for growth. You learn to accept your imperfections, which makes you more resilient to external pressures and criticism. Remember, confidence is not about being perfect. It's about being authentic and embracing who you are, flaws and all. To integrate self-compassion into your life, I suggest incorporating a simple practice when you experience a setback or a moment of self-doubt. Pause and take a deep breath. Acknowledge your feelings, name them. Say to yourself, it's okay to feel this way. I am human. I am doing my best. This acknowledgement can help you process your feelings without judgment and encourage a mindset that allows you to learn and grow from your experiences. Ultimately, both gratitude and self-compassion are about creating a supportive internal environment. They remind you that you are enough just as you are and that every step you take, whether it feels like a success or a failure, is a part of your unique journey. So as we wrap up this section, I challenge you to start today Write down three things you're grateful for, and when you encounter a setback, practice self-compassion. Let these two practices become integral parts of your life, and watch as your confidence flourishes. Remember, confidence is not a destination, it's a journey. By embracing gratitude and self-compassion, you're paving the way for a more confident you. Let's continue on this path together, cultivating not just confidence, but a deep, unshakable belief in ourselves. You've got this. As we delve deeper into the secrets of unstoppable confidence, let's talk about a crucial element that can significantly amplify your journey, your support network. Who you surround yourself with matters immensely when it comes to confidence. Having a solid support system isn't just a nice to have, it's a necessity. So let's explore why that is and how you can build your own empowering network. First, let's acknowledge something important. Confidence is contagious. Just as negativity can drag you down, positivity can lift you up. When you surround yourself with confident, optimistic individuals, their energy and mindset can inspire you to rise to your potential. Think about the people in your life who are the ones who encourage you, challenge you, and celebrate your victories. These individuals are your champions and their influence is invaluable. Imagine for a moment being in a room filled with people who believe in you, who see your strengths, and who encourage you to step out of your comfort zone. This environment creates a powerful feedback loop. When you receive positive reinforcement from those around you, it reinforces your self-worth and encourages you to take action. On the other hand, being around negative or unsupportive people can instill doubt and fear, undermining your confidence. So the first step in building your support network is to consciously evaluate your current relationships. Who brings you joy? Who inspires you? Who challenges you in a constructive way? Make a list of these individuals. Next, think about how you can cultivate and deepen those relationships. It could be as simple as reaching out for coffee, scheduling regular catch-ups, or joining groups that align with your interests and goals. The more you engage with positive influences, the more your confidence will thrive. Now, let's also talk about the importance of healthy relationships. It's not just about the quantity of your connections, but the quality. Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect, understanding, and support. When you have people in your life who value you for who you are, who accept your flaws and celebrate your achievements, it boosts your self-esteem. You feel valued, respected, and loved, which directly impacts your confidence levels. Think about your own life. When was the last time a friend or loved one recognized your strengths? How did that make you feel? Likely it reinforced your belief in yourself. This is why it's essential to actively nurture these relationships. Be the friend who uplifts others, and you'll find that kindness often comes back to you tenfold. Networking also plays a significant role in building your support network. Engaging with like-minded individuals in professional settings, whether it's through workshops, seminars, or social media groups, can lead to valuable connections. These relationships can offer support, share knowledge, and provide opportunities for collaboration. When you engage with people who share your passions, you reinforce your sense of belonging, and that can have a profound impact on your confidence. So here's my challenge for you. Take a moment today to reflect on your support network. Who are the people who lift you up? How can you invest more time and energy in these relationships? And on the flip side, are there any relationships that might be holding you back? It's okay to let go of connections that drain your energy. Your journey to unstoppable confidence requires a nurturing environment. Finally, remember this. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Choose wisely. By surrounding yourself with positive influences and building healthy, supportive relationships, you're not just enhancing your confidence. You're creating a life that empowers you to be the best version of yourself. Let's continue to cultivate this confidence together, one relationship at a time. 
as we journey through the secrets of unstoppable confidence, let's explore the powerful impact of routine on building and sustaining that confidence. Routines are the backbone of our daily lives. They provide structure, stability, and a sense of purpose. By creating a routine that fosters confidence, you can set yourself up for success every single day. So let's break it down into a morning routine, daily reflection, and a night routine that will empower you to step into your best self. Let's begin with your morning routine. How you start your day sets the tone for everything that follows. Imagine waking up and intentionally creating a space that nurtures your confidence. Here's a suggested morning routine that incorporates visualization, affirmations, and physical activity. Wake up early, aim to rise early, giving yourself time to start the day without rushing. A calm morning allows you to set a positive tone and gather your thoughts. Aim for at least 30 minutes of your time before diving into the day's demands. Hydrate and nourish. Start by drinking a glass of water. Hydration is crucial for clarity and energy. Then, prepare a nutritious breakfast that fuels your body. Think whole grains, fruits, and proteins to kickstart your metabolism and keep your energy levels steady. Visualize success after breakfast. Find a quiet space where you can sit comfortably. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Now visualize your day ahead. Picture yourself handling challenges with confidence succeeding in your tasks, and interacting positively with others. Feel the emotions associated with these visualizations, joy, accomplishment, pride. This mental rehearsal prepares your mind for success. Affirmations next. Stand tall and repeat positive affirmations. Say things like, I am confident I embrace challenges or I am worthy of success. Speak these affirmations with conviction. The more you affirm your self-belief, the more you reinforce it. Remember, your mind believes what you tell it, so make it powerful and positive. Physical activity now, it's time to move. Engage in some form of physical activity that you enjoy. Whether it's a brisk walk, yoga, dancing, or a workout session, getting your body moving releases endorphins and boosts your mood. Exercise is a natural confidence booster. It energizes you and enhances your sense of well-being. This morning routine is a powerful way to cultivate confidence from the moment you wake up. By incorporating visualization, affirmations, and physical activity, you set a strong foundation for a confident mindset throughout the day. Now let's talk about daily reflection and goal setting. In the hustle and bustle of life, it's easy to lose sight of our progress and our goals. Taking a moment each day to reflect can enhance your self-awareness and keep your confidence soaring. Midday check and take a few minutes during your lunch break or a quiet moment in the afternoon to check in with yourself. Ask, how am I feeling? What have I accomplished so far today? Recognize your wins, no matter how small. Perhaps you completed a challenging task, reached out to someone you admire, or simply stayed positive despite challenges. Celebrate these victories. Acknowledging your accomplishments reinforces your self-worth and propels you forward. Set intentions for tomorrow as you reflect on your day. Think about what you want to achieve tomorrow. What are your top three priorities? Setting clear, achievable goals keeps you focused and motivated. Write them down and visualize how you'll achieve them, just like you did in your morning visualization. This daily reflection practice cultivates a growth mindset, helping you recognize that confidence isn't just a trait you either have or don't have, it's a skill you can develop through awareness and intentionality. Finally, let's create a night routine that reinforces your daily wins. How you end your day can significantly influence your mindset for tomorrow. Wind down about an hour before bed, create a relaxing environment, dim the lights, put away electronic devices, and engage in calming activities like reading, journaling, or meditation. This signals to your mind and body that it's time to relax and reflect. Reflection practice, take out your journal and write down three things you accomplished today again, no matter how small. This could be anything from completing a project to simply showing kindness to yourself. Reflect on how these accomplishments made you feel and acknowledge the effort you put into each one. This practice reinforces your sense of achievement and helps you internalize the belief that you are capable and worthy. Gratitude, in addition to reflecting on your wins, jot down at least one thing you are grateful for that day. This could be an interaction, an opportunity, or a lesson learned. Gratitude allows you to end the day on a positive note and cultivates a mindset that appreciates growth and progress. Visualize tomorrow before you drift off to sleep. Take a moment to visualize how you want your next day to go. Picture yourself facing challenges with confidence, achieving your goals, and embracing each moment. This mental preparation can set you up for success and reinforce your confidence as you sleep. By incorporating a structured night routine, you reinforce the positive experiences of the day and create a solid foundation for your confidence to grow as you move into tomorrow. Creating a routine for confidence doesn't just change your day, it transforms your life. By starting each day with intention, 
reflecting on your progress, and ending with gratitude and visualization. You empower yourself to step into the world with unshakable confidence. Let's commit to these routines together and watch as our lives change for the better one day at a time. As we approach the conclusion of our journey to uncover the secrets of unstoppable confidence, let's take a moment to understand one of the most crucial insights of all confidence is not a destination. It's a journey. And this journey is ongoing, filled with opportunities for growth, learning, and transformation. You see, too often we fall into the trap of thinking that confidence is something we either have or we don't. We might believe that once we achieve a certain level of success or reach a specific milestone, we'll finally arrive at that coveted state of unshakable confidence. But here's the truth. Confidence is a continuous process. It's something we cultivate every day through our actions, our thoughts, and our mindset. Ongoing growth, think about it, life is full of changes and challenges. Each new experience, whether it's a promotion at work, a new relationship, or even a setback, presents an opportunity to build and refine our confidence. Just as a plant needs sunlight, water, and care to grow, your confidence requires nurturing and ongoing effort. The more you step out of your comfort zone, the more you expand your confidence. Remember, it's perfectly normal to have ups and downs along the way. Adaptability and resilience, the journey of confidence, also involves adaptability. As we face different life stages, our environments change, and so do our challenges. Embracing this adaptability means being open to new experiences and willing to learn from them. Each experience, whether successful or challenging, adds to your reservoir of confidence. With each lesson learned, you build resilience, strengthening your ability to navigate the uncertainties of life. Celebrate progress. One of the most important aspects of this journey is to celebrate your progress. Take time to acknowledge how far you've come. Reflect on the small victories, the challenges you've overcome, and the moments that have contributed to your growth. This acknowledgement reinforces your self-belief and fuels your motivation to keep moving forward. Now, as we wrap up this exploration of unstoppable confidence, I want to leave you with a strong message. You have the power to create the confidence you desire. Today is the perfect day to start applying the steps we've discussed. Don't wait for tomorrow or for the right moment. Take action now. Here's how you can begin your journey. Commit to your routine. Integrate the morning and night routines we talked about. Visualize your success. Practice affirmations and reflect on your progress daily. These practices are your tools for cultivating confidence. Set small, achievable goals start with small wins. These will create a momentum of success that will propel you forward. Remember, every great accomplishment begins with the decision to try. Surround yourself with positivity. Seek out supportive, positive influences. Engage with people who uplift and inspire you. Together, you can encourage each other on your respective journeys. Embrace challenges when faced with fear or doubt. Remember that these emotions are part of the process. Embrace them. They are not barriers. They are opportunities for growth. Approach each challenge with curiosity and an open heart. Reflect and adjust regularly to take stock of your journey. What's working? What needs adjusting? This self-reflection keeps you aligned with your goals and intentions. Today is your day to begin this journey. Take the first step. Remember, confidence is a skill, a muscle that you can strengthen over time. With each effort, each risk taken, and each small victory, you'll find that, you'll find that your confidence becomes more unshakable. I believe in you and your ability to cultivate unstoppable confidence. You have everything it takes within you. Now go out there, take action, and embrace the incredible journey that lies ahead. Your confident self is waiting. Let's unleash it together.